LG just download boost mobile user HD here and today I have some interesting news guys this is about track phone here so I'm on prepaid phone news .com reading out this article here so basically the title of this article says track phone may launch an Android power flip phone soon so basically that's what the phone would look like this is powered by Android this is a uh, flip phone but it has a touch screen and all that good stuff right there uh, it's a low end uh, budget phone, so you're not gonna get much from the sun. Obviously, so you will not be getting plastic phones or none of that. Also, uh, that's so that's what it looks like right there. Uh, it, it looks like open, the it does have a touch screen and whatnot, and all that, you know, standard numeric keys and whatnot. Excuse me. Uh, it does have to show the phone closed, it does have like a little display on the front of it with the track phone logo and it shows the guys to show you guys the back of it, it has uh, a ZTE logo in the camera uh, this phone is made by ZTE and it could become the track phone this is a rumor it's a now uh, so this is very interesting guys so uh, yeah this is very interesting <clears throat> so if you guys know like anyone that um if you if you guys know anyone that like a uh, flip phone and they don't really care about specs or whatever and they want an Android phone to try it out this could be for you, uh, this could be for that uh, particular reason. It says, it looks like track phone will soon launch an Android Pirate flip phone and interactive tor in an interactive tutorial for the ZTE brand flip phone has um, has appeared on devicebits.com site that track phone uses to host help files for its phones. The tutorial includes a photo of the phone along with a link to its user guide. The new phone is called ZTE Symbol T L T E. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. So that's that's so that's what, what the phone be called. It's made by ZTE. It it, it, it is an uh, 4G LTE phone. So that's really interesting there. Um, it says it has a device ID of Z252VL. Track phone uses VL suffix for ver uh, for LTE phones that run on the Verizon network so the ZTE symbol TLTE would run on Verizon tower so that'd be pretty cool uh, here are some of the specs on the phone right here you know uh, not eh, like I said it's a flip phone so you're not getting no uh, you, you, you're not gonna get no plastic phones on this alright so it runs Android 5.1.1 lollipop I guess stock Android with that uh, it is LTE CDMA dimensions right there. The phone is 5.82 ounces with battery. That's uh, that's a little heavy for a flip phone, I guess. I don't know. It's been a while since it's been a long time since since I had a flip phone. So uh, yeah. Oops. The internal display is 3.5 inches. It's an HVGA resolution at 480 by 320 pixels. Oh, uh, that's about one six, that's about one sixty five PPI, one eighty something like that. So very low pixel density, density there. The external display, there is this, a, there is a external display on the front, if you, as you guys saw in the picture above. Um, it is a zero point nine six ounce, zero point nine six inches, so l l so less than an inch on the front. It has a pixel. It has a uh, screen resolution of 128 by 64, so, um, you know, yeah, it is what it is. It's a little display on, on the front of the phone on the external side. Uh, okay, th this is uh, pretty interesting. For This is a uh, first here for an Android flip phone. Uh, there's two cameras on there, 5 megapixel autofocus and 2 megapixel front-facing camera. Uh, the Galaxy uh, folder from Samsung has has that as well has the same characteristics but I think the Galaxy Folder 2 has better specs than this one but you know it is what it is so this might be lost on track fan so you do have to give track fan credit for that so this is very interesting guys it's very very interesting uh, the internal memory is 8, eight gigabytes of ROM and 1, one gigabyte of RAM so um, you know it is what it is but the phone like I said you do have a micro SD card slot up to 32 gigs, micro SD HC, 1800 million battery, it is removable of course. Continuous idle time is up to 6 days, continuous talk time up to 10 hours. The web browser version 2.0, so it has the 
a shitty ass browser on there. I wonder if you can download the apps from this thing. Probably not. <clears throat> Bluetooth 4.1. <clears throat> Bluetooth 4.1. Bluetooth 4.1. So, uh, those are the specs there. I don't know if it has Google Play on it or not. I'm not sure if it has Google Play. I'm not sure. I don't know. This is very interesting, guys. Um, it says, based on the instructions in the user guide, the phone is a typical Android device. The screen is a touchscreen, and there's an on-screen keyboard that used for most text entry, including messaging and email. The hardware keypad includes physical back, home, and recent keys, as well as dedicated speaker and camera keys. The number pad, the number pad only seems to be usable for entering phone numbers and a couple of shortcuts. Pressing and holding the pound key to switch to vibrate only mode, and pressing and holding down one key for voicemail. The the one key, I guess, if you guess, if you press and if you press on one. It'll take you to your voice file. So, um, yeah. The phone camera does not have a flash, so it does have, uh, autofocus. It's not bad for a 5 megapixels on, on the flip phone. Shit, it's not bad. Fuck. Pretty damn good, man. Great job, ZTE. Oh, uh, it says Android flip phones are pretty weird. The Samsung has one, like I mentioned before, the Galaxy Folder 2, I believe that's what it's called. It's only available in Asia. Assuming it's released, ZTE, Symbol. Will be the first Android flip phone available in the U.S. Phones that phones that appear on device but usually go and sell anywhere from a few days to many months later. But sometimes they never seen the day, seen the light of day. Um, so this is very interesting. This phone may come out. This phone might get released. This phone may not never see the day of light. But right now, this is just a rumor that TrackFriend could be getting this phone here. It's a Android Pirate flip phone. Uh, the cameras on there are pretty damn impressive. Five megapixels on the back and two megapixels on the front. Um, okay, it does have it does have Google Play on there, as you say, as you guys see right there on the uh, screen right there. It does have Google Play, so that's really good. So you can download the apps and whatnot. Uh, for the specs on this fucking thing, it's not that bad, man. It's not that fucking bad. It's not that bad for some ZTE. Not that bad. It's actually not that bad, man. Uh, this would be good for those you you who have like a, a older parents and and that don't want and that don't want a big phone but want to try Android or whatever or if they're used to flip friends they could try this out. Uh, it's not bad, you know. It's not the greatest either, but it's not bad. Um, like I said, Trackman dreaming to get this. This could be released or this could never be released. This could just this could just be just a rumor that never gets released. Who knows? And if it does get released, I'd say it'd be below a hundred dollars. I would say that because of the specs and whatnot, I say below a hundred dollars. But it does have LTE, so that's a fucking win. So you know that's pretty damn good. Um, yeah, this is interesting, guys. Try for this. If this, if if the ZTE symbol T LTE gets released, it will be the first. Android Pyre flip phone to be released in the US because the Galaxy Folder 2 by Samsung is only available in Asia. Who knows if that will go anywhere else? But this could be a good start, and this is very interesting, guys. W w would you guys pick up one of these Android Pyre flip phones? Uh, I wouldn't because you know, I just wouldn't do that because the screen's too small for me, or whatever. But if you guys have like a kid or something, or if you guys um, if you guys are not, or if you guys like flip phones and, and you guys want to give this a try, go try it out. If it gets released, this could never be, this may never get released. So this is just a rumor. It says Trackman may launch an Android Pirate flip phone soon. So who knows if this thing will go, uh, get released. This is just interesting, guys. And I figured I'd share it with you guys out there. It's just interesting. But the specs on this thing, it's not that bad. You get 8 gigabytes of memory. One gig battery from SD cuts up to 32 gigs. Uh, removable battery, uh, Bluetooth 4.1, which is pretty damn good for a fucking flip phone. Uh, Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. Uh, doubt it. I doubt it will get uh, Marshmallow. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Um, it has the two cameras on there, front and back. Two megapixel front, five megapixels back. 
So, on the fucking flip phone, you have a phone passing camera on the flip phone, that's fucking insane. So, I mean, yeah, this phone, uh, might get released. May, may or may not. So, w w w uh, so, would you guys get one of these flip phones if it were, if it, if it becomes available? I would like to know your opinions about this. Would you guys just, would you guys try this? Just the front of it, would, would you guys... You know, like to try this. You know, I personally would not because the screen's too small for me, and the buttons are too small. And I've big, and I have big fingers and big hands, so this would not work out for me. That's just me, but you know, everybody's different, so it is what it is. Man, this is just interesting, guys. This is just fucking interesting. So if this, if this does get released, the ZTE Symbol TLTE will be the first and required flip phone to be released in the United States of America. Great job, ZTE track phone and Verizon for that. If it gets released, I said the price. Uh, I would say the price would be under a hundred dollars for this. So I do not expect much from the sun if it gets released. Do not expect much from it. So this is very interesting, guys. Very, 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 very interesting. So um, uh, that's uh pretty much it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, Give me a thumbs up, guys. It helps me out a lot. Make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links to those are in the description next video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.